So first thing, just go to the website and download this file. The link will be in the description. Once it's done, you just unzip it. And over here, you have the receiver and the VJ application. The first thing you have to do is install the VJ. It's pretty straightforward, just yes and and then install. In my case, I had installed it. So if it's the first time you're trying to, to install this driver, it may ask you to trust the developer. So you hit yes or install, I don't know which option is, but just you just have to allow Windows to, to trust this driver so it can actually work otherwise it's not gonna work so I'm running on Windows 10 and if I try to open this straightforward you see like no changes here it's going to it may crashes in my case it, it opened but uh, sometimes Actually, a lot of times it crashes. So you have to go to the receiver and go to properties and check this box to run uh, with Windows 7 and run as administrator. So just apply and open the app. So here it is. You can see here the IP addresses that you you have available. It depends a lot on, on your computer. So you're gonna get this IP and type it on you on the app. And then you just hit play. Once you you've done it, you can see it starts to to actually respond. So Right now, if I move here, you can see that it's moving in the receiver. So that's it. If you tried everything and it's not working, there's one last thing you can do. Just go to the firewall, down here in advanced settings. These two options here, inbound rules and outbound rules you're going to do the same thing for both so just create a new rule the first thing is program and you have to make sure that this file here is allowed to to access the, the connection so you're going to add this you browse it until you find it Allow all the connections, make sure to check all these boxes, and give it a name. Now you're going to do the same thing, but this time it's going to be a port. Check UDP, and the port number is 8999. I'm gonna check this and I'll put this in the description, the exact number, but I'm pretty sure it's this one. Same thing, allow all connections and all the networks. Just give it a name again. And it's a so do the same thing for the outbound rules. Create this the same process down there and now it should be working if it doesn't work again then you have to actually go and try to open these the same door on your router so you have to actually google for how to open the the doors on your router so that's it